Hey, this is Natalie from Natalia Style, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my 3.1 Philip Lim for Target shopping haul. So I woke up at about 5.30 a.m. and I got to the store before 6.30 a.m. and there were already 20 people in line. Um, I thought that, okay, maybe I will be able to get a bag, and luckily I was, but that was only by chance because the second those doors opened, a whole rush of people ran in. So here's what I found. The first thing I wanted to share with you is this beautiful Boom sweatshirt. Um, it's only $29 and I think it's really well priced. The fabric is really thick, it's a nice heavyweight sweatshirt. I think it also look really great with um, jeans or under a leather jacket. What I really liked about it is that there's this kind of this uh, scallop part here which kind of gives it some more shape and it's a little bit of a twist on a classic. The boom print is really nice and graphic and it's definitely one of the better pieces from this collection. I also picked up another boom related piece, this scarf. So it's a large chiffon scarf wear it like this and I really like it because it has this kind of um, primary colors it has blue yellow and red and some black and I think it goes a full lot I have to steam it so it's a little bit wrinkly but um, I was impressed that they also rolled the edges I thought that it was a really nice finish and it was only $20 the last thing from the boom collection is this sweater dress now my sister wanted to get this she was in line waiting with me and she loves sweater dresses but we were very disappointed with this one because attached is this skirt. Online I thought that they had just layered it over a chiffon skirt, but it's actually attached with it. But what I find really weird is that it's extremely long and it looks kind of matronly. Personally on me, I'm five foot nine and it's very long. It goes past my knees and just looks very frumpy and not the most elegant. Um, up on top, it's also super voluminous, so you kind of get this whole inverted triangle look going. I kind of wish that he had done it just as a sweater, or at least made it shorter and without the skirt, because I think it's a really great idea. I love sweater dresses. They're great to wear in the winter with a pair of tights or leggings, and um, unfortunately I will be returning this one. One of the most well thought out and most beautiful pieces from the collection, I think, is this sweater. So in the front you have this beautiful mustard and navy leopard print, and the sleeves are actually chiffon as well as the back. So it kind of uh, gives you more space to breathe, but it's also really nice and warm here so you can kind of layer it with a blazer or a jacket. And uh, I really like the way that they're cuffed, it's just really well thought out, the colors are beautiful and I think is one of the higher pieces from the collection. I really wanted to get the matching skirt to the sweater, but unfortunately they didn't have my size. As soon as the doors opened, those were just snatched all away. Um, but I did manage to get one in a larger size for my mom. Um, it actually looks really nice on her, but keep in mind that if you're looking to buy this one online that it is sized a little bit smaller than you um, expect, so you might want to get a size up just in case, but I think that the finish is really nice. It has an exposed zipper and this really nice stretchy kind of grass grain, grass grain ribbon trim. Um, it's kind of just a nice simple A-line skirt that you could wear either casually with a sweater or maybe more formally with a blouse and a blazer. I think this would be also a really great workwear piece, so I thought it was really well done. There were a lot of dresses within this collection. A lot of them were very evening wear focused, but I really fell in love with this oriental inspired print. Um, and it actually looks beautiful on. It has a very thick fabric and these faux pockets. I thought that they were real online, but they're actually faux. But they kind of add a nice panel detail. And in the back, it's pretty well constructed. I really enjoy the panels and the way that it was put together. Um, the back has a lower, a longer length. And then it kind of gets scalloped at the side. So it's really kind of sculptural and architectural. I think it's a really unique piece in this collection. It really stands out, I think. Um, I don't have anything like this in my closet, so I was really happy to pick it up. One thing that I didn't expect and that I learned is that this dress can completely zip open. Look, so I kind of call it that it's like a fancy lab coat or something, like a dressy lab coat. But it's really unique and it's definitely uh, not something you'd expect from Target and that's kind of exciting with Diffusion Lines. So the last piece I picked up from the women's wear line was this navy blazer with the black tuxedo lapels. So I'll put it on to show you. You can roll up the sleeves or leave them long so that they're full length sleeves. Um, unfortunately, I think I will be returning this guy because I find that it's a little bit boxy on me. Let's see if I do it up like this. It doesn't fit too great, especially in the shoulders. Maybe if I could find it in a smaller size, it might be 
better. I'm just a little bit disappointed with the fit and I feel that online they probably cinched it in on the model just to give it a little bit more of a feminine look. So I also picked up some pieces from the menswear collection for my boyfriend. I got this t-shirt, the blue with the black, um, but actually it's not really black, it's more of kind of like a navy charcoal. I can't really put my finger on it so unfortunately it's not really what we expected from the online pictures so we will be returning it because it's also extremely boxy. For $19 I don't think it's worth it for a t-shirt. What I do think is worth it is this beautiful fisherman sweater. So I really like that uh, the knit itself has a lot of different colored flecks. You can see some blues, some uh, flecks of beige and black. Uh, there's a lot of dimension within the knit. And I also like this pretty overlapping kind of collar. It's a little bit more boxy as well, but I think it's a great layering piece, especially with winter right around the corner, even though that's really sad to say. Last, but certainly not least, I was able to pick up this mini Pashley satchel. So I was, it was completely by chance that I was able to get this because the girls ahead of me were literally going into the racks and scooping up bags like this and taking about 20 at a time. It was unbelievable and I thought they were such pigs for doing that. People were following them around in the store, you know, asking, begging, please can I have a bag, which it was kind of ridiculous too, but um, luckily this one fell on the floor and I was already crouched down there so I managed to get it with no violence, no headaches, and it was just the last one left. And I was 20th in line, which is crazy when you consider the fact that I woke up at 5.30 a.m. to get this collection. So I'm going to go through a few points in this bag. The one thing I'm very disappointed with is the actually the magnet closure and some people actually complain about the real bags that the magnet closure is a little bit finicky but I find that the magnet doesn't really stay too well and that even when you click it in it just kind of comes undone very easily so I wouldn't want to put anything more than like lipstick or gum we have some ample space in there um, the top here has a zipper zips up all the way like this and actually the zipper ties say 3.1 fill flim for target I don't know if you can see that if the camera will focus but um, you have a zipper at the top and you can fit quite a bit inside in the mini I'm actually pretty surprised with the size I have like lipstick, gum, my wallet, my change purse um, it's not bad I mean you couldn't fit your whole lunch in here but for carrying on day to day essentials or especially for a night out I think this bag would be perfect you also have an inside zip closes like that and a cell phone pocket which my cell phone isn't in here right now but it does fit inside um, I don't know if a Samsung would fit because it's a little bit narrow so just keep that in mind but you also have plenty of space in here so I wouldn't be too worried the handles are really tiny you can see like you can just hold on your hand you can sort of crook it around your arm but it's really really small diameter and you also have this really long strap now I'm pretty tall and I found that the strap to be extremely long. I actually think I might pierce a couple holes a couple inches up, but you can wear it crossbody like this. And you can see it it's kind of below, below my hips actually, so it's a really low bag, but I'm, I'm sure it's pretty adjustable. And these straps can also be taken off like so. I think it's a great crossbody bag, but I also like wearing it like this. It's really cute and dainty. For me personally, I like when my bags are small and structured, and I think this one really fits the bill. It's made of vinyl, but uh, one thing that I like that he did is that when you zip the sides, this bag can turn into a little square bag. So you kind of get two bags in one, and this one's a little bit more of a classic shape, more formal maybe for work. But I really like that you kind of get the best of both worlds, and you can also unzip it back into its trapeze shape. The vinyl itself is pretty well done. There's a little bit of a pebble grain to it. So this bag in Canada costs $35. I think the price is worth it, although for the bigger bags, $50 was veering a little bit too expensive for a vinyl bag. I definitely wouldn't say to spend $100 and up on eBay, because to be honest, it's a vinyl bag. I mean, yes, it is like a mini Pashley, but I think when you're spending more than $100, you're so close to being able to afford the real thing. But if you were able to snatch this, I'm sure you will enjoy it. And it's just a really versatile piece, so I'm really happy to have been able to pick this up. And I especially think that me waking up at 5.30 and was kind of validated by the fact that yes, I did get this bag. My overall impression of the collection was that it was really well thought out. I really liked that he had the different themes with the leopard, the boom print, 
tells the oriental theme. I think that he's really in touch with what people want from their clothes. They want something that's everyday, versatile, good for work or play, and this collection definitely builded that. I was really disappointed with the way people acted in stores. I think people were just insane and going crazy, but um, I guess that's kind of the hype you expect when you can offer a thousand dollar bag for only 50 bucks. I hope you enjoyed my 3.1 Philip look for Target's shopping haul, and you can read more on my blog, natalieats.com. Thanks for watching.